Hello, my dear friends. This is a lesson of articulation, a lesson to learn the articulation, especially articulation on organ. Articulation is the breath and life of music and a performance that lacks it is as meaningless as unpunctuated speech. Therefore, it is essentially for every player, especially for organ players, to learn to articulate and even an unmarked score to play. What is articulation? It is concerned with whether a note is joined or detached to its neighbor note or neighbor notes. Here are some examples. I play at first some triplets. I can play a triplet in this way. Legato, but I can play it also, that is staccato. I can play some triplets, three notes legato and three notes legato again, but I can play it also in this way. Now I play it staccato. I can play a triplet when I play the first note long and the second and third note short, then I get this. I don't play the first and second note legato, but only the first note longer. When I play it legato, then you hear this. I can make the first note long, but also only a bit longer. And every shade is possible, from very short until very long until legato. Even legatissimo is possible. When I play legatissimo, you can call it also tenuto touch or over legato. The holding down of notes for longer than their written value. You hear for a little, for a short while, both notes together. But this way of playing is not usual on organ. But on piano and especially on harpsichord it is very usual. Now we go further with our triplets. How can I play triplets on more in more other ways? For instance, two short and one long. It is as if you hear an accent on the long note. It is as if you hear an upbeat. But 
I play the first note on the beat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And three is a long note. I can play also a long note on two. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here also it seems as if you you get an up beat. But I don't play an up beat. It is only the second note which get a, a longer note, as an, an accent. Now I go I'm going to play 16th notes. Four 16th notes at one count. I can play legato. When I play all legato, all notes legato, you can hardly hear the accents. Listen. But now I'm going to play groups of four notes. Between every group there is a very short silence. Every first note of the group of four gets an accent. I can play 16th notes also staccato. Here is it also very difficult to hear the accents. But if I play the first note a little longer, you hear the accents. Listen. And when I play still longer, I play the first note legato with a slur to the second note. We hear this. Every possibility between all these is a possibility. You can play very short until very long. Very short and long. It is not legato, almost legato. We can also play the second and third note together. Then you hear this. Or the third and fourth note with a slur. First three notes with a slur. Or the fourth, third and fourth. 
fourth note with a slur. It's all possible. And without slurs, you can also give accents to hold the note a little more down. It is not legato, but almost legato. Or 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 There are a huge lot of possibilities to get different articulations. Now I'm going to play a little Fantasia. It has by Bach, it has the number 570. It is BWV 570 and I play it from my Peters edition Peters book number 8 and in this book it is number 9. How can I articulate this piece? In the left hand I see 8 notes. I can play these notes staccato, like this. That's not good. It's not the character of the piece. So I have to do something else. Nu, nu I play, now I play this. The first two notes with a slur. But I think the third and fourth note are still too short. Perhaps it is nicer to play these notes a little longer. And in the right hand you see G, C. You can play these notes legato or perhaps with a very short silence between. I think the second way is better. This chord you have to touch very very definitely the chord on the third count. This E, you must play it a little later than you feel it. silence before. That is in bar 4 in the left hand. That is bar 4. Now again from the beginning. Fantasia. That means you can play it with a lot of fantasy. You 
it is not the meaning to play it uh, like a metronome. No, it is free. You it is a free rhythm. Not too steady. <laughs> I can play it staccato or legato. That is a, a little stiff, I think, but with a little differentiation, it sounds better. For instance, After this note, this A, I make a little silence and then this three, no three notes legato and then from the F, four notes legato or a little Portato. That is perhaps better. Uh, from bar four, two sixteenth notes and in the right hand and in the left hand how shall I play these notes I think and then and in the right hand in the left hand play through I think this is a good way to play this figure articulation slurs imply a stress on the first note of the slur. When you make a slur over these three notes, then the first note gets a little stress. So you get here. G-sharp. You must play this this note a uh, little later, not too early. note the 
F sharp. I play it also a bit late. and I play the notes of the left hand in this way not legato these two notes in bar 23 G sharp A E I play not legato but a little portato and rather definitely definitely and clearly Chromatism means color, color of the harmonies. So you must play this with much feeling and not too, too fast. from bar 23 this is a high point as if you are going up a mountain and this note F is the top of the mountain so you are very glad that you have reached the top and you must stay a while on the top fast to get a full sound perhaps 
a small ritardando, bar 34. <laughs> Now the left hand is playing higher and higher till the high B. It is almost the highest note of the organ of Bach. The highest note was the high C. But now we reach the high B. Here also perhaps a little ritardando. <laughs> It is uh, quite difficult to reach the top of a mountain. That feeling I have when I play this. I make a very little ritardando bar 39 Now I'm going to play the whole piece
I thank you very much for your attention and I hope that you can get a little mere, more information about this piece and that you got inspiration to go to practice it. It is a very nice piece and you don't need a very big organ, only a small home organ is, is uh, sufficient. Well, good luck and bye bye.